Hi, my name is Jiri and I'm working in Unites uh, Systems and I'm responsible for international sales and support of uh, this uh, system which is called uh, Unimat uh, 3000 and uh, this one is particularly used in incoming inspections, uh, final analysis and low volume productions. The whole uh, Unimet uh, system consists of uh, two or three uh, basic parts. Uh, first part is this uh, main uh, test system that contains all the basic instrumentation to perform all the testing and uh, measuring. Then the second uh, main part is the PC controller together with the controlling software. Another important part, or, or from the concept point of view, important thing is or interesting is that uh, in front of here there is the main system, and uh, as an option, there is uh, several uh, test adapters on the left side of the system that uh, can be exchanged in the front part of the system, allowing customers uh, to test uh, different kind of uh, components and uh, basically the system can test uh, any type of component from diodes, transistors, bipolar transistors, MOSFETs, ADDA converters, op-amps, comparators, uh, voltage regulators, uh, some uh, simple microcontrollers and memories mostly for uh, static parametric tests. Uh, some of the adapters allow as well uh, dynamic uh, parameter measurements. So, uh, exchanging is uh, very simple. Just uh, remove the adapter. You can plug new one back in and depending on the group of components which you would like to test, you can use either a small size adapter, as for example this one is used for op-amps and comparators. And this one is then plugged into the main or universal adapter and now the system is ready <coughs> to be used for op-amp and comparator measurements. In case a uh, whole big adapter <coughs> needs to be exchanged, then this whole adapter can be plugged off the system and new adapter, for example, uh, this one which is called T10 and is used for uh, logic ICs like uh, 54, 74 series, uh, HCT, CMOS, HC and other type of digital components. And again, simply and if we go further into the concept details, uh, I opened the tester so you have better overview about the hardware structure. And as you can see uh, from the view, we have uh, two racks, lower rack and upper rack, and uh, that are spread or split into the front part and the rear part. Uh, the concept is that uh, the rear part uh, normally contains uh, basic uh, power supplies units to provide uh, power supply voltages uh, for analog, digital and power sections of the VI sources. And the front part uh, contains uh, basic instrumentation that is fitted into the system. As you can see, uh, some of the slots are empty and the reason for that is we have uh, two basic models of the Unimet systems. One is called Unimet 3000 and uh, second version or second modification is Unimet 4000. The basic difference between those two is that the Unimet 4000 is uh, more equipped with uh, additional instrument instrumentation that is uh, suitable for better uh, testing of uh, mixed signal or digital components. One of the additional cards uh, which is not included in the 3000 version is uh, digital, uh, digital pin electronics containing 8 uh, channels that can provide data rate up to 20 MHz 
and uh, including programmable output level uh, in range between minus uh, 3 volts up to plus 6.5 volts. This digital pin electronics allows accurate time measurement in the range of uh, 1 nanosecond with a resolution of 125 uh, picoseconds. Another instrumentation that is not included in the Unimed 3000 version is uh, three VI sources running uh, up to plus minus 52 volts uh, with current of up to 500 milliamps past and 200 milliamps continuous. This source has on board the voltage and current measurement, so it can be used uh, as a voltmeter as well, instead of using the system voltmeter that is included in the standard configuration of the system. Another instrument uh, which is there is a so-called uh, synthesizer, which is a card that allows generation of uh, square, triangle and sine wave uh, up to 100 MHz from starting at 1 Hz, so pretty wide range of signal generation with programmable output level as well. Another card uh, which is there is a card which we call OC64, which is a card uh, with uh, 64 open collector switches that can be used to control uh, customer specific applications and uh, other specific things that might be important to provide uh, proper testing of the given device and the test. Uh, so these were basically the description of differences between the two versions and if we go back uh, to, the, to the basic system the, we have there uh, as a basic instrument we have the uh, voltmeter with uh, RMS converter, sample and hold function, uh, auto ranging and auto calibration feature. So it means uh, during the power up uh, the voltmeter is automatically calibrated to the internal precision uh, voltage source so no manual adjustments is necessary. Uh, what else we have there is that we have there uh, six uh, reference voltage sources going up to plus minus 16 volts, 200 milliamps. We have there a sine wave generator going up to 100 kilohertz. We have there a pattern generator, uh, SIPO, means serial in parallel out unit. We have there a, a power source, uh, VS source, which goes up to uh, plus 50 volts providing 2.5 amps of continuous current. Then in addition to that we have uh, two programmable voltage sources going up to plus minus 52 volts and pass current up to 4 amps. And uh, there is also leakage current measurement unit, ramp generator unit and the board uh, responsible for the precision voltage source that is used for the internal calibration of the voltmeter. So this is uh, basically the overview of the instrumentation that is included in the base system. Then this whole uh, instrumentation is uh, used further in each uh, test adapter and uh, the concept is that uh, if there is uh, some uh, resource, if there is needed some specific resource to test given group of components, then this specific hardware is built into uh, such adapter or into the bigger one. And exchanging the adapters, uh, we are able to test uh, different kinds of uh, components. So, next part waiting for description is the software section. And for that, uh, we are using our own software, which is called Skedus, Smart Control and Development Universal Software. And by clicking the desktop shortcut, main login window is opened. And here I can uh, choose between engineer and operator user. The difference between those two is uh, in the operator mode, I am not able to do any modifications to the test program but in the engineer mode I'm able to do modifications in parameters 
result limits and I can create uh, new test programs. So for better demonstration purposes so we go with engineer profile so we have available all the features of the SCADUS software. So, um, this is the default uh, setting of the SCADUS windows where I have the main uh, SCADUS window on the top of the screen where uh, I have available basic uh, shortcut functions that are used to load program, start test program, edit and open basic windows that are important for the user. So, in the first step, I will load a self-test program of the main system, so I will check the basic functions and to be sure that the system is working and uh, there will be no surprises during the testing. So, by a simple click of the green arrow button, the self-test program is execu executed and now I have uh, two, two windows displayed where the left part uh, shows uh, the status of each individual uh, test step where the right part will show at the end of the test uh, results of uh, each measurement in terms of values. The left window only shows the status pass fail and the uh, test result window shows uh, the results of each individual test step uh, separately. So on the left side you can see that we have 19 uh, test steps which are uh, available also on the right side but you see that uh, this list is uh, quite long and uh, the reason for that is that each test step has uh, several measurements, for example Test step 14 has uh, 49 results, so this is the reason why this uh, window is uh, so long. So if I go back uh, to the menus or shortcut icons on the main screen, there is menu file, uh, serves for loading, opening uh, test programs, but uh, normally from that menu we use only the shell which is also available as a shortcut and uh, shell it's a basically a tool which allows me to quickly load a given test program or given uh, self-test program the configuration of this window depends on the configuration of the hardware that is available at the given customer so because this is our demo uh, demo machine here is the list of all available uh, software features or programs but uh, s one customer can have only for example one item here uh, depends on the purchased configuration so by a single uh, simple double click I open the program and I'm ready to do all the measurements and testing. I uh, have to wait a little bit. Next menu which, we, which is available is the menu test and uh, the important part from this is uh, basically clear statistics which clears all the all the results after measurement so but this function is also available from the main menu uh, under clear so by confirming it the measurement uh, is uh, removed from all the windows and from the log statistics uh, menu txx i will display uh, describe uh, later because uh, using this part i am able sorry I am able to modify or create uh, test programs for uh, specific uh, test adapters as uh, shown within previous uh, or with the, within the concept description. Menu run, uh, there, is, there are functions like start test and loop test which are also available as a, a shortcuts on the main screen so start is clear and loop I can uh, loop the test either in a never-ending loop, it, 
means if there is a zero, then an ever-ending loop is enabled. And in case any type of any number different than zero defines the number of loop loops that are executed automatically. So this test is pretty quick. So there was performed ten measurements in the loop, so I don't have to click ten times the start button. Uh, this feature is good in case um, you are doing some, um, uh, let's say, running on running or burning procedures and you are checking for stability of the measurement. <coughs> In the menu view uh, we can display uh, several uh, several different windows showing uh, various kinds of informations like uh, test time, uh, the test time window displays uh, the test time duration or duration of the test for each individual test step and also the group of the test steps and uh, this information can be used for optimizing the test in case the test runs uh, in the production where every uh, second or every second is important to reach a maximum throughput. Probably the most important uh, part of the view is the database and uh, this database uh, logs all the measurements of, the, of all components that uh, were measured previously. Important thing is that this window uh, has to be opened before the measurement starts, otherwise the values are not uh, locked in. So, uh, you see that we have uh, two possibilities how to display results or how to load results. We have test result window and the database. The difference is that the uh, test result window uh, shows only the measurement from the last measurement, where a database stores the measurement, measurements of all measurements of the components. So, then this can be used for further processing either in a separate tool like Microsoft Excel or uh, we can use our internal simple graphs and statistical calculations for general overview. Uh, but uh, I will demonstrate this on the real component rather than uh, a self-test of the system. Uh, menu tools, uh, we have, uh, let's say, basic, or what is what can be interesting or important is the binning editor. And uh, the binning editor is used to uh, define uh, sorting of uh, pass and fail components in case it's in production. Or um, the result of the binning can be used for manual sorting. It means operator can uh, just uh, see on the display the number of bin and can manually uh, remove the bin, uh, remove the uh, de tested device and put it into corresponding bin on the on the table or on the workspace around. So this is the binning. Uh, debugging, we have uh, two debug uh, debugger windows available. One is uh, so-called M3000 debugger and uh, it's uh, basically a graphical panel that helps uh, to control manually uh, given instrument. Uh, this uh, is example of uh, panel to control voltage sources that are available in the tester and I can choose different instrument available uh, within this list. Each panel looks different. Uh, some of them are more complex, some of them are simple. Uh, it depends on the, complex on the complexity of the instrument controlled. So uh, by this panel I can either do some basic repair and servicing or I can uh, simply debug my application using these panels. Another important function of the system or the test software is uh, 
feature which we called uh, Schmuplot. And uh, Schmuplot serves for uh, monitoring or checking the function of the device over changing input conditions. Which means, uh, for example, I would like to monitor a supply current uh, and changing the power supply voltage at the same time. So I can define a range of uh, power supply voltage uh, which would be specified, let's say, in the range of 5 to 10 volts. And I can define, or I have to define, uh, the number of steps uh, in which uh, the parameter will be changing. Then I uh, put this definition into the software and software automatically increases uh, the power supply voltage and measures uh, a supply current. The result of this measurement is uh, a table of values plus a graph of uh, measured values, so displayed in graphical form. So quite interesting function for engineering. It can be used for, for uh, normally for transistors, diodes, checking the breakdown voltage and uh, other important parameters. This I will demonstrate later on a real component, not on a cell test. So, for the demonstration purposes of how the test program is created, I will use a test adapter TA09, which is used for op-amps and comparators. And uh, for our demo, I am using OP07 op-amp. So, uh, I have loaded uh, previously created program, and uh, basically there are two ways how you can use the hardware. It means you can start off with creating with a uh, new program, new test program, or you can use already existing program and uh, make the modifications and save it uh, as a new test program. So in our case, uh, I will use uh, already made program and I will demonstrate the features and functions on the software on this program. So. Uh, as you can see on the on the schedules screen, uh, we loaded a program and we see uh, several informations that are provided by the test program. One of them is uh, the name of the test program, and another important one is the use of uh, socket adapter. Socket adapter is uh, this small part, and it adapts. Uh, the device or the package of the device uh, to the tester. So there is a big range of components, uh, either standard through hole ones or a big variety of, uh, of SMDs. So these are provided uh, upon request. In the standard delivery, there is uh, this uh, dual, dual inline package that serves only as a demo uh, to check whether the hardware is uh, running properly. So, if we go back uh, to the editor, uh, I can use uh, menu TAXX and use the edit test, or I can use the shortcut uh, shortcut button, which is on the main schedules window. So, if uh, we start from the beginning, uh, we have uh, opened a graphical editor. And uh, let's say before continuing this, I have to say that uh, the test program can be created in two ways on our software. The first way, or the easy way, is to use uh, this kind of uh, graphical editor where you only enter the specifications from the data sheet and uh, select the corresponding parameters, edit it, save it and run it as a ready-made program. The other way, the more difficult but uh, more flexible, is to use uh, programming directly in the code. In our case, we are using a, a Delphi editor, a Pascal based, where you can program basically anything, but uh, this requires uh, quite high skills in programming, but also quite high skills of knowing the um, hardware structure of the system. So. This is uh, not so easy to do. Anyway, we start with the first one, where uh, about 80% of the test adapters is, uh, can be controlled using this graphical editor. So creating program is, uh, is very easy, very simple and very quick. 
So in the first uh, screen, uh, there are entered uh, general information about the device, like part number, used uh, socket adapter, in this case also basic information about the power supply values, ranges. Also, I can define here whether the op-amp is a single in package or up to quad op-amps in one package can be tested and the test is performed accordingly. So when I do this basic definition, I can click on the next step, which is called the select test step, and here I can choose the parameters I'm interested in from the parameters that are already predefined in the library. User has no access into the library, so user have to use has to use what is already defined here. So with a single single click of the mouse and the button I can add or uh, remove uh, uh, parameters uh, from the list from the left to the right side so it's very easy very quick so once uh, this is defined according to the specifications in the data sheet I can go uh, to the edit test step and here I have to enter the parameters, I mean the test condition and the limits for the result. So first part defines the test condition and the lower part of the screen defines the limits for the results. And uh, this is controlled using these uh, previous and next buttons. And uh, I go through the whole uh, test program, I read through my data sheet and enter the values there. So once all the definition is programmed, I, I can uh, save the test program or override the current one. So in this case, I will just use uh, save and run test, which means I will override my existing program and go uh, back into the schedules to perform the test. So the test program is uh, executed either by pushing the start buttons on the adapter or using the mouse uh, and the shortcut button on the program, on the screen or uh, pressing the F12 key uh, on, the, on the keyboard. So now we have performed uh, the test step of this uh, op-amp. We see that the uh, result is passed. Test time in this case is 660 milliseconds and these the results were measured for the given uh, given parameters so pretty quick pretty easy and now if we go back to the scarius uh, itself i will use uh, a, or i will open a database window on which uh, i will demonstrate some basic um, features of uh, statistical calculations and uh, various graphs we have available for the analysis so, before I can work with the database, I have to collect several data, several measurements. So, I will not change the part, but I will make 10 runs, 10 measurements from the same device, just to collect a bunch of data. So, now we have made 11 measurements, and from these measurements, I can mm, do uh, the statistics. First of all, we can uh, we can use uh, a histogram feature. I can select uh, the results that are important for me, and using the preview, uh, this chart is open, and it displays my three uh, test steps that I selected, and uh, appearance of the measurement. Red dotted red lines show the limits. Green bar show the appearance of the result of the of the, of the results of the measurement, and below the table, it's uh, described uh, or it shows lower and upper limit, minimum and maximum value measured, uh, average, standard deviation, CPK or CGM values at the moment not uh, not defined for some parameters. So this is one of the example how the data can be processed. Another graph is basically in let's say in a horizontal way similar similar meaning 
except in horizontal means red lines are the limits, uh, black line are the values, and uh, description on the x-axis uh, describes the number of measurements. Another important uh, feature of the database is uh, calculation of overall statistical data. For that we have uh, here a special shortcut button and after selecting uh, the parameters a table is generated showing lower upper limit, minimum, maximum value, average, standard deviation and CPK and CGM values. So, uh, after a bigger uh, batch of data, this red uh, line will disappear. Besides uh, basic data processing, database uh, is able to export the data into a CSV file, like comma separated, and uh, this uh, file can be import it into Excel for example and uh, can be used for further analysis. So Skedus uh, is doing only basic uh, statistical calculations and graphs but uh, further processing is normally customer specific so we didn't provide any specific tool but uh, provide only raw data for further processing and the customer side. Uh, another feature of this uh, database is that the database file can be exported back into the schedules, which means, uh, for example, when there is a bigger lot uh, being tested and the operator has to stop the testing and uh, shut down the system and PC, uh, after uh, continuing the work, you can uh, import the data back and uh, continue the testing of the lot until it's finished. So, and the data is automatically, automatically uploaded there. I would like to thank you for viewing this presentation until the end and uh, I'm ready to answer any questions regarding the system and other technical questions on my email or on my, or on my mobile phone.